Hello and welcome to another horror one shot. It's been a while since we did one of these. This is basically a series where you check out like free games, um, amateur, not at, like in a bad way amateur, but you know, just kind of the amateur, amateur genre, like games finished fast from itch.io, basically horror stuff. Basically we're doing this now because we finished the cat lady and we still have a couple more days for, uh, October our horror month stuff, so I thought why not tackle some of these ones So this one is your a station finished in two days um, Point and click puzzle game. That's really up my alley. Um, I haven't played a lot of horror games, but um From my experience, I do enjoy those kind of things, you know the cat lady franbo and While I'm not the best at puzzles. I feel like this channel has been doing a lot of puzzle content so i feel like i've been getting better so it should be fun um what drawn me to this is the actual graphics apparently it's done by high schoolers so it's probably like the community thing which is always warms your heart a little and they look pretty cute so you know cute point and click horror game sounds like something i would like so we're right into the screen i might have to make some adjust adjustments um, I'm not sure though. I'm very bad at everything, so uh, let's just start though. Let's waste no time. Dude, look at that. Oh, sh my bad. I left. <laughs> I totally forgot to fix the sound. I was wondering. Oh boy, that probably killed your ears. Definitely killed mine. It's hard to tell with this just from. Uh, Maybe I need to move that down so I can see how loud this thing actually is. Yes, this is, it's always this stuffed here. I left home this morning long before dawn before anyone might hear me. I had to be careful not to wake my parents. They wouldn't understand. Who knows where this empty train is heading? All I can do is watch the landscape as it unfolds before me. Am I dreaming? Your ray station. Ghost station. Translation. I'm excited. I haven't tacked. We've only done two one shots before. I forgot what the car. I think one was called Lucy. One was like Cabin in the Woods, maybe. Both two different games. This is my first time doing a point and clicker, though. Look at these. This is so cool. I love these graphics already. So charming. The train's vibrations relax me. I try to clear my head. But suddenly my heart tightens. I feel a presence. It's getting closer, invisible. It breathes heavy against my neck. I don't dare move. I've got a new message. Ooh, nice little screen shake. Some observation. I should check my message first. But yeah. I already love this. High school students painted this. I assume it's paint, right? It looks like water paint. It might not be. I don't know. I don't know art. <laughs> I'll be honest. Just checking again. Because there, there's like black bars on my screen, but I kind of covered them in the screen. I don't Because it, it's kind of awkward. Unless it changed the resolution I'm playing. But I think it's fine. So we'll check it out. So basically, young girl... We snuck off onto an empty train, I guess we're more the exploration type. Sent opposite to me. Or wait, is that us? Or are we looking at her? I think that's probably us. Because it said empty. Yeah, it looks like us, kind of. Message. The message says, I see you. I looked around and panicked, there's still no one. Okay, so this is us confirmed. It's not good. Oh, it's options. Now we're good. Okay. I, I approve of the subtitles. Well, let's put the phone away. I wish I could go back. Before I started receiving these messages, before this horrible day. Jesus, we just got on the train unless something else happened recently I feel like this train will never stop that the night will never end 
I've been trapped in darkness for months. Jesus, okay. Check out the map. Ooh. Oh no, it's puzzles already? What am I doing? No, that doesn't make sense. I must be wrong. I have to say, I do. I have been to Japan before, and I do love the transit system since I don't drive. Mainly because, uh, I mean, I don't have my driver's license, but I'm just a very anxious person in general, so. Kind of spooks me a bit. Wish everything was just trains. But Canada rejected, uh. Ooh. I can only read a few words, I'm waiting for you. Do we have any, uh tack on what this puzzle is? Like, I don't know our start points. Here? Oh, that doesn't make sense. I must be wrong. Listen, lady, do we need to hit all four? Or, like, what? what what's the game plan here? Can we go back? What is, what is a puzzle? <laughs> There's an arrow. Am I like crazy? How do I? Am I like stuck on the screen? Is there no? I don't understand the puzzle here. I don't know if it's tuned for English. So let's look at the symbols. We have a pan, fish, crab, what a sort of melon, sake barrels or something, a donkey. Like, am I traveling through the whole map maybe? Oh, maybe it's some, kind of fucks you up though. Yeah. Can you travel through the whole map? No, it's impossible. Right? Um, help? Help me? What am I like? Am I crazy? Or did we like not get any hints? <laughs> oh, that's a tree, not an arrow. I just realized. What am I doing? You know what? That's a hard reset. Maybe we got locked into a puzzle and I didn't, uh, and I didn't really check. <laughs> oh man. Heard stuck on first puzzle after breaking a bit. I don't understand though. So we're in the mountains. Okay, I left before dawn. Okay. Sounds like we left like one day though. Before dawn. Definitely in the seaside. And there's mountains. I tried to clear my head, but suddenly my heart tightens. Okay. We need a... Just need a reset. New message. Speed run this a bit. I see you. I wish I could go back before I receiving this message, before this horrible day. So we're in the mountainside for sure. I fear this train will never stop, that the night will never end. I've been trapped in the darkness for months. Push. We didn't get a new message this time. Huh? No, no indications of the puzzle, which... Well... Ready to do that hard stuff again? Okay, so 
there just isn't a clue. Oh, I'm an idiot. It does say on there. Okay, thank God we came back. I'm waiting for you. So I see a melon, I see a triangle, I see a that thing, and I see a Tori. Okay, beautiful. That That's what happens. Maybe you just need to refresh your mind sometimes. See? You just need to refresh your mind. I was stuck instead of giving up via mental reset. The lines cross over one of the stations. Ah. Stranger, it's the only one with no name. Oh, I didn't even notice that too. It's pretty creepy. And we're here. Kind of rocking that little Dora the Explorer look, right? I don't. I just remember the pink shirt and I think jeans. Okay, let's leave. Some nice lights. Push to open. There we go. You know, bumpy start. Let's just hope uh, no more bumps. <laughs> I can't help but hesitate before leaving. There's no telling what, be, what might be waiting for me outside. Ah, get out of here. Ooh, look at that. Uh, no matter how hard I try, I can't read the name on the sign looking closely at the peeling paint. It hits me that this village must have been deserted a long time ago. Yeah, but the lights are still on. Creepy. Was this a puzzle? Some of the lanterns are glowing faintly through the dust. Remember when we used to hang out at these small village festivals? The crowds in the old streets, the distance, the distant laughter. Memories come flooding to me, but I have to hold them back. I do not have that. I went to Japan twice, but never went to a festival. That would have been a fun experience. Love the atmosphere it's setting right now. Very good sound design. A shadowy shape brushes past me, whipping up warm air. I think I have a hand accidentally grazing mine, or a blurry face glimpsed through a window. So like a face. I shiver. Windows, lights. The windows are like dead eyes pointed directly at me. The shape has slipped into the shadows between houses. I don't dare follow it. It's got a message. What's up, ghost? The message is indecipherable, but there's something ominous about it. It looks like an eye in the shape. Okay, let's continue down. Hmm, that's a puzzle and a half. A massive wooden door is blocking the path. Checking if there's anything else. Oh god. I press my ear against the door and close my eyes. The rustling of leaves is like a soft voice inviting me to come in. What are we looking at? Do I have to like connect them all? Yeah. Okay, so it's a connector puzzle. Okay. This definitely has to do this right. Really? How do we connect? Huh. Can this connect? It can. Okay. I think we're getting somewhere. But this needs to, uh... It's not enough. No, we need to connect the middle. Hey! Dude, nice. Feel good. Oh, it's a message! That's cool. That's cool. Nice. Cute. Cute puzzle. 
Back when I was a little kid, I'd often play hide and seek in the dark cedar forests. Ever since then, I've been imagining shadowy figures looking behind every tree trunk. I cannot see them, but I know they're watching. Mm. See, this is that's the type of puzzle for me, something our grade schooler can do. But we did that pretty fast. Edo boosted. Come on, keep the puzzle Edo boosted. The first one drained me a little, but not too much. We're in a good mood. I stopped midway, about, about to burst into tears. Their eyes are weighing on the back of my neck. I can hear them whispering between the trees. They know nothing about me. Who gave them the right to judge? Yeah, no judging here. I respect you, nameless girl. Oh, there's a shadow um, to the right. Looked kind of like an alien. Don't know if you saw that. I just caught that as we were passing it. Standing in front of the, in front of the Tori, I remember his words. Those are doors to another world. I wonder what it's like over there. Whose words? Do you think it's any better? Sounds like a person not enjoying his life. Oh, let's go through the Tori. Suddenly I'm afraid I'll only find emptiness at the end. Ooh, it's a red Tori. Some Buddhas. Yo, there's ghosts. Hello? I climb the steps and make my way through the tunnel of Tori. I'm on the other side now. I breathe a sigh of relief. Yo, there's ghosts. <laughs> Willow wisps float here and there like faded memories. That's what they're called. We're not worried about the will o wisps. I guess they are friendly normally, right? I thought they're like mischievous. From what I remember, they're like mischievous that like bring travelers to their death if they if you follow them. But it could be different mythos for different cultures. A vast cemetery stretches out before me, doted with sharp rats and crazy trees. Very creepy. I went to a really cool cemetery in Kyoto. Um, didn't go the second time because we couldn't find it, but it's a really sick Buddhist cent cemetery. Sort of out of the way because there's no tourists. Good spot. I look up at the big empty sky. Its pure color f fills my senses. I guess it's not a OU spelling color. Where's my color with a U, boys? I feel like no one does it. <laughs> no, everyone spells it like that in the comments. Anyways, let's go through the shining red toy that's actually floating. My footsteps grow more confident, my fear becoming weaker. I feel like I'm getting closer. Let's go. Jesus Christ. Eyes. Hello. Again, those eyes staring at me. How long... How I long to slip out of their reach and escape them forever. Okay. Yeah, just leave me alone. I'll fuck you up. I'll poke you out. Jesus. A huge waxy face watches me with a strange fire. That's the traditional spooker face right there. I'm afraid it might try to swallow me up if I get any closer. Massage. Oh, hint. The same glitch sentence repeating itself. Come in, come in, come in, come. I see like the sign pointing to an eye. I see the word gay, <laughs> like in English. I see R I. Oh wait, no, that's not gay. That's not a Y. It kind of looked like. I see G A, A R I O. G A A R I O Re Oh, okay. Okay, so you just follow uh So Da A Rio. Ga-a-ri-o. This is ga? 
Nope. Okay, so it's this one. Yes? No? No? Is that not the order? See, G A. Oh! I did it wrong. <laughs> okay, so G A A Rio. My bad. It is this. Ga Rio. Am I an idiot? Huh? Okay. Four, four, four. Well, the O is like highlighted, but that's the end, right? Unless we're origami. Wait, no. <laughs> Sorry, it sounded like that. Maybe we go backwards, but it is da a rio, so that's just wrong. Or maybe, oh, maybe that goes there, so maybe it's da a ori. Let's try that. Oh, well, that's wrong. Oops. No. Okay, let's try backwards. That wasn't even it. It's my brain failing me. Oriada. Diary. Come in, come in, come. Mm. I think we always start with the da. That's definitely not it. The read okay. Da. Ria. I'm not understanding it. <laughs> you tried both ways. Unless it's like being read. I mean, I, I was assuming it's being read up to down. But I don't actually know how that works. <laughs> Why is this one circled? The whole circled here. Which makes me think it's da a ori, but we tried that. Or the other way around. Let's try O first then. I think it's time to just uh, experiment. Because I'm not understanding this at all. Okay. I don't, okay. Or so it was. So it was actually. Ora. O R I. I thought we did that before. Maybe we didn't. I was Loki right with my origami thing, by the way. I didn't know. Okay. Obviously, my knowledge of the Japanese language is not on point to be expected. It's not like I learned any or took lessons. There we go. 
If you don't know what to do, just cheese it. It's not even cheese, just trial and error it. It's a life lesson. It doesn't feel the best, but it's still, it's still a, a technique, all right? The path disappears onto the edge of an empty landscape. Of course it was too good to be true. Oops. I'm no longer having the strength to return home. I've lost all hope. Hmm. In this place. Yes, Mr. Ghost, stop texting me. Since always. I wait. In this place, since always, I wait. Whoa. Is that like their dad? Or something? The whispering stops, the eyes turn away. We're alone again. Together. I hold my breath. My heart is racing. Oh. I want to speak but can't. Jesus. His hands are cold and his eyes are so harsh. But it doesn't matter. I'm happy. This is the most beautiful day of my life. The end. Huh. I don't know if it, it was that a sad ending, like, was she like tripped by the dose and now she's just stuck there? Uh, the graphics of this game were hand painted with pencils and watercolors by high school students. It was done in two days during uh, probably a thingy festival or whatever. Bunch of French people, huh? Was it? It said LA, so I was gonna say, is it like Canada? I don't know, man. That's where the French people come to. Would have been cool. Give the talents. Yeah, was she like tricked by the ghosts and is she just stuck in ghost land forever? Or is it like a happy ending because she's reunited with her father? But either way, she's stuck in the cemetery, right? I don't know. Interesting game. It's, uh, the story was a little confusing. I get the basics, but obviously. Not everything. <laughs> it is a very feels like a very cultural game. Like I'm sure you'd get a nice sense of a uh, nostalgia or whatever if you if it is in your culture. Obviously, it's new to me, but I just appreciate it as it was. Um, but yeah, that was that's fun. I I, I liked it. I love the style. Um, would love to see uh, if they ever do make a full game. I mean, this is a game, but like a long game, I would be willing to uh, try it out. I think that's another cool reason of why you would do um, something like this, um, is to see uh, potential, you know, blossoming, blossoming developers um, doing some small projects, and eventually they might make it to like uh, get, a, get, get a bigger project going, and then you'd be like, oh yeah, I remember playing uh, Yuri Station. But yeah, this was fun. It was interesting. Puzzles weren't too bad. Um, we kind of cheesed the last one since I didn't get it. It was just a... Uh, it was definitely more of a language pronunciation puzzle. Uh, but the other two was fun. Nice, short, and sweet. I enjoyed my time. And it was cute. It was mainly... I loved mainly the graphic, graphical design. And I thought the sounds were pretty good too. But thanks for watching, hopefully you enjoyed. If you want to see more short horror games, we are going to be doing a couple one-shots um, this month, like six of them, hopefully. Um, and in the future, we'll probably do some more too. It's, you know, it's a fun way to make a quick video. And um, yeah, also if you're interested in longer horror playthroughs, they are on the channel and visual novel stuff like that. But thanks for watching as always. Hope you hopefully you had a great time and I'll see you hopefully later. Bye. Good day. Yeah.